Pay raises are potentially in the works for high-ranking Department of Education executives. But that is some asking, what about the teachers? KITV4's Eric Nackton reports on the raises being considered and gets reaction from Oahu residents. The State Board of Education working toward approving and finalizing pay increases for those at the top, including superintendents. Many in the community say they want teachers and other school level professionals to get more instead. The teachers should definitely be getting more, especially after all they've been doing through COVID and having to deal with that and all the kids. They deserve more. Many consider it unacceptable to the work teachers do for Hawaii's youth every day. It's definitely frustrating to hear. We need to invest in our future, and that's the teachers who are teaching our kids. And instead, they can't afford to live here, and they're going to move to the mainland. Executive Director Randy Pereira with the Hawaii Government Employees Association submitted testimony for a recent Board of Education meeting stating public schools are suffering from massive shortages. He added the proposed salary increase for the deputy superintendent alone would pay for the annual salary of an educational assistant who works directly with our most vulnerable students. It's time for the department to get its priorities in order, and now is not the time to increase executive pay. I'd vote for the teachers instead of the supervisors, labor instead of management. The teachers are the ones in the classroom with the children, and there's a lot of teachers who are jumping ship because the living costs in Hawaii is getting higher and higher every year with inflation, and it's really important to focus on the ones who are hands-on with our children in the classroom. So yes, I think we should be paying the teachers more. Heading into April, there are reportedly nearly 600 educational assistant openings. Eric Nackton, KITV4, Island News.